guys welcome back to my channel today we are going to be doing get to know if you have not liked my video and you have not subscribed to this channel please do so now yeah let's get right into the video today we are going to be doing get to know about peter obi yes we're talking about peter obi peter obi was born in july 1961 at onicha he attended the christ the king college in onicha where he completed his secondary school education and he was admitted to the university of nigeria in 1980 and he graduated with ba honors in philosophy in 1984 peter obi attended lagos business school where he completed the chief executive program harvard business school where he completed two major programs the london school of economics and columbia business school and the International Institute for Management Development he received certificates in the Senior Executive Programs and the Chief Executive Officer Program. He also attended the Kellogg School of Management of Northwestern University. He went to Business School of Oxford University and the George Business School of Cambridge University. Now let's talk about his pre-political career. Peter Obi was a businessman before he ventured into politics and according to him, he started his life as a trader, being born to a trading family and later he moved to a corporate world. He held leadership positions in some private establishments. Some of the companies he served include International Nigeria Limited, Chairman and Director of Guardian Express Mortgage Bank Limited, Guardian Express Bank PLC, Future View Securities Limited, Paymesta Nigerian Limited, Charms Nigerian Limited, Data Corporation Limited, and Card Center Limited. He was the youngest chairman of Fidelity Bank PLC before leaving the position and entering into politics. Peter Obi ran for governor in 2003 as a member of the All Progressive Guard Alliance, but his main opponent was declared unlawfully. After three years of legal battles, Obi was declared as a winner in 2006 and assumed office that March. He was then impeached in November, then he was overturned and he returned to the office in February 2007. Again, Obi was removed when a new election was held in April 2007. But the judiciary intervened again and ruled that he should be allowed to complete a four-year term. Then in 2010, he won re-election to second term and in those years, Peter Obi's terms were marked by his improvements in the state, sciences, education and healthcare. On 7th of February 2010, the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, declared Peter Obi as the winner in 2010. Then an Abra state gubernatorial election where he defeated the former governor. The election victory gave Peter Obi additional four years as the governor of Anambra State. And on 17th of March 2014, Peter Obi served his second term and handed over to Willie Obiano. After 2015 general election, President Kudlock Jonathan appointed Peter Obi as the chairman of Nigerian Security and Exchange Commission. On 12th of October 2018, Peter Obi was named as the running mate of Atiku Abubakar, the People's Democratic Party presidential candidate in 2019. And his party came second and lost to the incumbent president, Mohamed Buhari, and vice president, Yemi Shibaju. There are some of the notable awards of Peter Obi, such as Newspaper Man of the Year 2007. Champions Newspaper Nigerians Most Trustworthy Governor in 2009, West Africa ICT Development Award for Governor of the Year 2010, Zig Leadership Prize in 2011, Bill and Melinda's Gates Foundation Best Performing Governor in Immunization in Southeast Nigeria in 2012, the Nigerian Library Association Golden Merit Award in 2014, the Catholic Diocese of Onitsha Golden Jubilee Award in 2015. On March 24, 2022, Peter Obi declared his intention to run for president of Nigeria under the platform of People's Democratic Party but later pulled out and announced that it would be running under Labour Party instead. 
Peter Obey wrote to the leadership of People's Democratic Party on the 24th to resign his membership and reportedly complained about the massive bribing of delegates and vote buying at party's presidential primaries. He is married to Margaret Brownson Obi in 1992 and they have two kids, a boy and a girl together. Anyways guys, that's going to be the end of Get to Know of Peter Obi. And moving on, I saw a video and I felt like I just want to talk about it. Anyways guys, watch this video. I saw that short clip and I, I, I mean like, who are raising these kids? Who are raising these kids? Because secondary school, these children, the two of them, the boy and the girl, they're still in secondary school and they're exposed to this kind of thing. What are they learning? What kind of discipline do they have? Because obviously they lack discipline. From school, from their house to the neighborhood, what kind of things are they learning? What kind of things are they exposed to? From their parents. What is their parent teaching them? Most of these kids, they lack discipline. Like there are so many places a child can get discipline. From their school to the neighborhood to like, most especially their parents. What kind of things are they parents teaching them what kind of values are their parents inputting in them what kind of discipline what time what kind of punishment are they giving these kids what kind of things are they allowing them to do do they even have their time do they allow them talk do they allow them <sighs> how is the next generation going to be because at the end of the day what they are doing what these children are doing they feel like that is what they are enjoying because they do not even have the right information they are doing actually shows that they lack discipline they lack discipline because it's a high time these parents start impacting discipline in their children because those children are still in secondary school and these teachers they have to actually do what they are called to do i mean teaching is a whole lot of things not just coming to class and come and tell the student okay yeah, this is what i'm going to teach you and that's all just come to class and um, teach whatever he or she has to teach and she just these teachers need to take these kids seriously they need to impact discipline i mean they need discipline they need help they need teaching they need everything the teachers do what they need to do the parents do what they need to do this kind of discipline and what they have impacted on these children will never leave them so with that which these children have been exposed if it is guided the result is going to be positive so parents if you are watching this teachers if you are watching this children if you are watching it please let us all be guided the rate at which these children are involving themselves in this kind of things is going to be reduced if they have discipline they have guidance they write the right people to let them know what they are actually doing it's going to reduce from their parents to what they are exposed to on social media the kind of movies they watch to teachers to things that are around them so let me know what you think about this video in the comment section guys please don't forget to click the like button subscribe to this channel thank you guys for watching this video and i'll see you next time adios One, two, three, four.